size of look at the size of Pereira. So big. I mean, after his strong Strickland fight, he weighed himself, and he was somewhere in the neighborhood of 220 plus pounds. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, his coach told us. Yeah. He'll be 210, 215 tonight. Yeah. Oh yeah. Unreal. All right, here we go. Round one for the undisputed UFC middleweight championship. Adesanya is in the green with gold trim. Alex Pereira is in the yellow. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This, this one is going to be fun, boys. Adesanya seemingly as relaxed as I've ever seen him mm -hmm. before a fight. It's crazy because he's lost to the guy. And he has so much confidence in this matchup. Well, he's a better fighter. He's a better fighter than he was then. Yes. He's improved so much. Especially in MMA. I believe that Pajera has improved as well, but Stylebender is right now one of the very best fighters on planet Earth. Mm -hmm. That's where the confidence is coming from. This is an opportunity for him to get revenge and to show how great he truly is. But it's a dangerous fight. Going to be interesting to see if either man tries to mix in any wrestling. I mean, he, I, I, it's amazing how much bigger Pereira looks. He looks like a light heavyweight. Yeah, he does. It's similar to the Jan Bohovic fight. And Pereira certainly looks a lot bigger than he did in those kickboxing meetings five years ago. Those are two very good leg kicks there by Pereira. Oh, and man. Pereira. Now he goes up high. Is he's going to have to check some kicks? Adesanya with those beautiful, subtle stance switches as usual. And faints, man. He does a masterful job of fainting to set you up. Tries to draw out reactions. And generally, in fighting, he draws out big reactions. I don't imagine he would draw those same reactions from this guy. No. Who's been in front of him before. He's been in front of him, and also, he's fought world-class kickboxers on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. Nice offering there by Adesanya. Pereira did say he was going to try to pace himself for five rounds. Never been 25 minutes in MMA. Oh, nice right hand by Izzy. Nice right hand by Izzy. Under three minutes here to go in round one. That Adesanya right, the most significant strike thus far. He's got him reacting now. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, he does. After that right hand, Pereira's, uh, he's doing a little bit of reacting. Look at right that. There. Yep. yep. Now it'll be on Izzy to go and take advantage of it. Well, this is what Izzy does to everybody. He finds where your weaknesses are, finds the holes, and he starts launching. That was one of those things that he didn't do against Bohovich. He would set him up, but he wouldn't attack. He's got Pereira reacting now, but he's got to attack him. Pajara just said, there's so much danger when he gets close to you. Inside leg kick is there for Adesanya. Two minutes now to go round one. Izzy goes high, already some significant swelling under that right eye of Pereira. Izzy goes high to try to back him off of him. A lot of leg kicks landed by both guys. He went high, but just glanced. Good low kick by Izzy. Oh, good kick to the body. Got under the elbow. I talked to Edesanya in Dallas, and this guy, his, the way he talked about what he wanted to do to Pajeda was crazy. I had never really heard him talk like this about opponents. Good kick to the body there by Pajeda. But for it, yeah, that was a great shot. And a good inside leg kick from the champion to counter. Just over a minute to go in the round. Well, this is the only guy to beat him the way he beat him. I mean, Bohovic beat him by decision, but yep. Tejera put him out. And he wants to get that back. We asked Pereira which guy was more likely to try to wrestle or grapple, and he said, I think I would be the guy who'd have more success chasing takedowns, but he expected that Adesanya would be more likely to do that tonight. Oh, good kick to the body. Big. Oh, jeez. That's where it gets dangerous. Yep, there's that money man. Oh. Oh, it's when Izzy goes southpaw. Pereira just throws that big body kick. First oh, beautiful situation. Beautiful body lock by the champ. Oh, look at these body shots. Hard shots to the body. 
Nice knee to the body, too. Very interesting that Izzy's clinching with him, making him think. You got to mix it up. But yep. in that clinching, Pereira had more success. He landed some good body shots, and he landed a big knee. Oh! Huge right oh. and left at oh. the end of the he round. There it is. He hurt him bad. bad. He hurt him bad. Catches him right where the ear meets the jaw, and then that left hook. Mm -hmm. The left hook was like at the buzzer, right? Let's see it again. It was actually after the buzzer. Right. The left hook was after the buzzer. But he had started to throw yes. the left, I believe, before the horn. So a legal strike. And we'll see if the champ can capitalize. He's trying to calm down the Madison Square Garden masses. Pineda looking for more of that noise. Round two, early leg kick for the champ. But now the champ's going to get some respect. He heard, him in, he heard him in kickboxing. Yes, he did. He hurt him very bad in that second fight, and they gave Pajera a standing eight count, which very likely saved him. There's no standing eight here, though. Oh, Pajera seems to have recovered, but you never know. Oh, good left to the body by Pajera. Little slip on the fence by Adesanya, then he slips that offering from Pereira. Is this got to stop him from getting so close? It, the danger is when Alex gets close. Is this got to throw that right hand? Coach Dean Thomas, what do you have, sir? The one thing that Izzy's doing is beautiful is he's switching up between throwing that right hand, but when Alex gets really close, he just grabs his hands to disrupt him from punching, and it's looking like that. It is beautiful because Alex has a hard time getting around that. Good point, Dean, and you saw some frustration from Pereira trying to communicate to his corner after round one. You know, that's one of the things about kickboxing. A lot of the action's taking place in a very short space. The big octagon seems to be favoring Adesanya right now. But Pereira's having a lot of success. He had a good first round until he got hurt. Head, body, leg discrepancy there. Not much success upstairs for Pereira thus far. Good inside low kick there by Izzy. And he goes high. Oh. Pops him with a jab. That jab's on point here. Round two for the champ. Alex is going to have to stop reacting. He's going to have to lead a little bit, Joe. If he wants a chance, he's going to have to take some chances. Oh, nice There's jab there by the, by the challenger. Oh, man, the jab is that stiff. That money. I mean, he hits so hard, you can hear it when yeah. he lands. Nasty. Even in close. Oh, oh, he hurt him. He hurt him with that shot in tight. Another thing to take into consideration. Look at this. He's shooting for the takedown. Is he going to a single leg? Another thing to take into consideration is the five-round fight. Yep. Five rounds. We've never seen Pajeda do five rounds, and he's n never had to fight a guy as talented as Izzy. Oh, oh right hand. Big right hand for Adesanya, close to the two-minute mark. Of In round MMA, two. excuse me, with the grappling. That's the big how, how does that How does that factor in the fourth and the fifth round, especially with all that weight cutting? UFC 281 is brought to you by Crypto.com, the fastest growing crypto platform in the world. Download now. That's the difference. If you tell Alex that he has to spar. Oh! Oh! Oh my goodness! Couple nice left hands from the challenger. If you tell him he's got a kickbox for 25 minutes, he can do it all day. Yes. But you're mixing all the grappling and everything else that entails the mixed martial arts fight. You wonder if he'll hold up. They both landed jabs at the same time there. Oh, beautiful knee. But then again, look, Izzy's clinching. Nicely done. Pereira's landed some really good shots this round, man. Couple big jabs, couple right hands, nice big left hook. 
and knees in tight here. These are these are big shots. These body shots and pulls the knees. They're very telling, and they're the ones that make you tired as the fight goes longer. Adesanya proven strong in these clinch situations, despite being the smaller man. Pereira defending in front of his corner. And Izzy's using a lot of energy trying to take this guy down. We've never seen Adesanya try to wrestle this much. Sanya connects to the body. Oh. And these wild exchanges is where Pajera's most dangerous. He's making Izzy uncomfortable. And now Pajera shoots. Oh, my goodness. And Pajera gets the takedown. Look at this. Ten minutes in the can. Now, here we go. Here's Izzy with the jab. And mm. Alex lands his jab, and a thudding jab it yeah. was. And here's more Izzy, beautiful right hand. And there's a nice jab by Alex. Now here's the head kick. I mean, he basically just kind of bounced off the shoulder mm. and touched the face. That was but here's weird. the takedown. That was a weird takedown. See, look at that. I mean, he just like he's just hanging on him so much, he's trying to take him down. And it's heating up. It is. Yeah, it is. The, when Izzy was struggling with Alex is when he had him back against the octagon. He's got to be the one pressing the advance. The problem is Pereira just gets big on him, right? He starts to stalk him and walk into him. And almost the posture of Pereira is very scary because he's such a big guy in there. And the consequences of him connecting on you are so dangerous. Mm -hmm. Good vision by Adesanya defensively there, as we have come to expect from the champ. They have both thrown 93 strikes. Pereira has landed 50, Adesanya 45. And this is when, see how Izzy landed the right hand? Alex, then he wants to rush. That's when he starts to get a bit aggressive, right, and go after Izzy. Right. This is where Izzy's got to stand his ground. A nice knee to the body there. So it is Adesanya who ends up on top now, maybe trying to get to the back of Pereira. Look at this. Adesanya with a beautiful takedown. Oh, Izzy gets his hooks hooked in. Pereira staying composed but gets dragged back down. Right back down to the ground, ground and pound by the champion. Big left hand. Is he controlling that bottom wrist? First career UFC takedown for the champ. And look at Pereira's lack of knowledge to go and attack that wrist. He's got to attack that hand to clear it if he wants to get up. He just wants to get up to his feet. Yes. He just wants to kind of power himself up to the feet. But it's hard. You got to clear your wrist. Otherwise, Izzy just pulls you back to the side that he's got trapped. Not a lot of this going on in the kickboxing realm. Under no. three minutes, round three. Solid left hands there landed by the champion. Izzy's doing a, just trying to stand up. Izzy's doing a great job of keeping his right wrist, man. And then he digs the hook in, and Pereira's trying to elbow him. To the thigh. That does nothing. You gotta be trying to get back to your feet. But it's all in the wrist control. That wrist control has caused them real issues. Great two-on-one there by Adesanya. Who would have thought? And this will exhaust you. This will exhaust Pereira. Yes. That wrist control is so important because now Alex has to address that before he can get to his feet. He can't post with his hands. That's why he's leaned over forward. Adesanya making some of these left hands count. Gets one hook in. It's going to be a long two minutes for the challenger. He's almost up. But he's got to be attacking hands right now. Izzy did a great Izzy job there. Back down again. Look at this. Look at Izzy's forward pressure. 
keeping his hands locked and driving the pressure forward towards the mat. Pereira needs to... Oh, no. Mistake there by Adesanya. Yeah, but a mistake by Bahena, too. It's yeah, it's a leg, leg, leg lock. And then he abandoned it. Instead of just trying to get back up to his feet, he's exhausted. Pereira looks tired now. It's all the grappling. And this is where you would expect the championship experience of Adesanya to start to take form and show itself. Yeah, look at the big, deep breaths from the challenge. Oh, that was a good elbow from the bottom. Almost three minutes of ground control time for Adesanya here in this third round, under a minute to, to go now. It's crazy, too, because Pereira was the reason the takedown happened. He tried to step across in a position where he had no chance to score a takedown. Izzy's gonna throw elbow here. He can take it over the top while Pereira's grabbing the wrist. Oh, nice left hand. Oh, good left hand. Glover's telling Pereira to hold on. 30 seconds. He needs to try to pass the feet if he wants to land something big. He's got to catch both feet, pass, and throw. Little axe kick to the body. Good. Big round for the champion. There the is no good. Rounds. And there's no denying the hard worker within Alex Pereira. We'll see how the cardiovascular base holds up, but it's not as though he's breathing super heavy. He's lip smacking here to Adesanya. Yeah. Round four of a possible fight. And again, all the grappling is not familiar to Izzy, right? This is something different for him, too, so. But Izzy's not cutting that kind of weight either. No. That's when that starts to show itself. Yes. Every MMA round begins on the feet. Yeah, but that's no picnic either. No, <laughs> I mean, I mean it, it, Israel Adesanya is a bad man on the feet. I wish we got to see that takedown in the middle of the rounds. Sani able to roll with that left hand, but a connection by Pereira nonetheless. Nice leg kick by Adesanya. Pereira's trying to get a break, trying yep. to kind of recover a little bit. You can tell his activity slowed. It slowed down. Ooh, a jab earlier and then that right hand, very clean. That's, is he picking up reads? This is where I like, it's, it's dangerous. In this position. Beautiful sequence by Adesanya. The champ's starting to open yeah. up now. Attacking all areas to great effect. As Pereira gets tired and, it, and he starts to slow the champion has all this championship round experience that he's relying on. Yes. And just MMA experience. Yes. We're talking about a guy who's really only four fights in his MMA career, wow. and in his fifth fight, he's fighting one of the greatest middleweights of all time. Wow. Pereira's pace and activity is really waned here. Johnny's exhausted. Mouth's open and he's barely throwing now. He's tired. It was all the grappling in round three. Paid dividends for the champion. Pereira also having a hard time planting on that lead leg, courtesy of all those Adesanya leg kicks. He's landed 27 of 30, has Izzy, unofficially. Pretty futile offensively for Pereira here early round four. He faked a level change. Oh, look at that. He did it again. If Izzy can take it down, he's tired. He's very tired. Yeah, he's tired. And this also speaks to the lack of experience. 
He didn't fight a Robert Whitaker. He didn't fight a Marvin Vittori. He didn't Jared fight a guy. Kennedy yes, all them Jared Kennedy. Yeah. Big guys, guys who could take him down. He got fast tracked. And, I mean, he fought well. You know, he fought well in round one, fought well in round two. But as you would expect, you know, he's starting to fatigue down the stretch. And this is where the champion seems to be starting to pull away from him. And this was the concern about the weight cutting. Yeah. Like, the extreme weight cutting, how is that going to affect grappling? And now we're finding out. Well, he was the last guy on the scale also. Yes. Yeah, five minutes left, and he made it. What championship medal, though, from Adesanya after a tough round two yeah. to take control of this fight in rounds three and four. But well, we got a minute left. If Pereira can make something big happen here, and now he seems to have... Look, he's, he's pressing on the gas a little bit. Big jab. Oh! Woo. And Izzy's trying to clinch now because he felt the danger. He was going forward. Nice knee to the body. But these are the ones, these are what this is what he was doing early in the fight when they got to the clinch. Digging knees, punching to the body. Trying to make the champion pay for getting close. Pereira actually moved him into a single. He's tired. And he was starting to recover, so Edison, you put him right back in that grappling position. As he loads up on the elbow over the top, just misses. Waning seconds here, round four. Adesanya five minutes away from remaining the UFC standard at 185 pounds. Fifth and final round. It seems like we're looking at about three, we're looking at 3-1 pretty comfortably for the champion. But the danger is still there with this guy. Oh, nice left of the body. And now he knows he doesn't have to fight another round after this. He can empty the tank. Yeah, he's going to fight hard. can land when he throws. He just has not been able to keep up the pace of Adesanya. And of course, there's always that inherent risk. The more offense you throw, the more likely you are to get countered. And caught in the clinch, right? So every time he gets here, long periods of time of passing. Kamal Usman certainly didn't sit on his lead against Leon oh. Edwards. Big leg kick for Pereira, backs Adesanya. That was a check. That was a check. He checked the kick, and it hurt Izzy's leg. He checked the kick, and it hurt the champion's leg. Oh, Ooh. he tripped himself. Yeah, so just sort of a wayward step or so it appeared by Adesanya. Yeah, that's all it is. He looks fine in his motions. He does. Pereira's had his most success for the body tonight. Oh! oh. He has that left hook! Here in the bell! Oh, another right! All of a sudden, he's on the left! Two more! Down goes the champion! Oh. Pereira trying to claw him! Oh, he's going to oh. And he'll do it! Oh, no! He did it! He did it again! Oh. Alex Pereira, the undisputed middleweight champion! Oh, my goodness! I don't believe he did it again! Oh, my goodness! He did it again! He did it again! So Izzy's against the cage, he pops him with the jab, the oh, right, the right hand. Yeah, it was the right hand. It stung him a little bit, oh, and then the, the uppercut. uppercut. The uppercut stung him. Oh, That's the left that hook. one, the left that hook one. again. And then another one. And oh, then that my right goodness. hand. He's in big trouble there. And then again. Oh, I mean, he was hurt bad. You could have stopped this a long time ago. Mark Goddard gave him a ton of time. He gave him all the time, but look, he's not even looking. Oh, my goodness. Adesanya, oh, my though, goodness. with an immediate protest. 
Yeah, I, I mean, he's a champion. I can see yeah. why oh he's my protesting. Joe, look how man. short that hook is. Oh, it's look at how short that left hook that is. That power is beautiful. This dude is crazy. Look, there's no doubt he was in deep, deep trouble. Could you make the argument that you should put the champ out? Maybe. Oh, my goodness. But the way he's moving, it looked like he was gone. Look at Glover. Look at Glover. Oh, my goodness. And for Nelly Feliz and Plinio Cruz, Alex Pereira's right-hand man. Adesanya, ever classy, acknowledging the crowd. This one is going to sting for a while, for a long time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Goddard has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, one second of the fifth round. Declaring the winner by TKO. And